All right, some who know are very well call her Knox. Tell us <laughs> about Yeah. Abanye and Abanye again. Have they got their own choice? <laughs> you know what? I, I was just saying that I always have this block of people that I look at musically and say, there's Brenda Farsi, there's Brenda Farsi, there's Brenda Farsi, and then there's Nogas. Wow. <laughs> that is just how much respect I have for you. Thank you so much. Musically and gifted vocally. Wow. Nyabo. You know, and, and you know this, and you know this, you know this. <laughs> what have you been working on, though? I've been working on my album, Izopuma, end of September. Ah. Uh, and the color chase me, and right now I'm going to keep singing. Liam, it's called Uyezwa. Lengs we perform and I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been busy, I'm doing features, yeah. but now I feel like people are hungry for my project, mm. and I had to. And also, you know, push our cool. You know, as you must do your album. Ibane, the brand now is mainly it's you know as yes, people know you from features, yeah. and you've done well. But now, can't you just try and accommodate Abanyabantu? Okay, I love that because it's going to bring me to asking you, Guti, what is accommodating Lababanya Bandu? Where does this muse move you musically in terms of the genre of music that you're going to be releasing in September? Guti Kakulu, before I was my album, I was going to traditional music. So, the album is going to be able to do the elements because I'm going to be able to do the sound. And I'm going to be able to do the sound. But don't say it now because I'm going to be able to do the mix. I mean, there's so much music. I'm going to be able to do the corner. Yay! When you get up, you're going to be able to do the corner. I'm going to be able to do the album. I'm going to be able to do the corner. Are you featuring a special designer or is it just mainly you? I'm going to be featuring a special designer. It's in Tiga from the soil. I'm going to be able to do it. The, the, the song that I'm going to do today. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, Zanda Zaguza. Mm -hmm. I think it's just two of them. Two of them. Yeah, and how many tracks? I was trying to run away from the features. Yeah, <laughs> the space. And then there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm mm looking -hmm. forward to voice and share rehearsal. I'm looking forward to the performance. I am glad and honored for you to be here and looking forward to that performance. Tell your next door neighbor, tell everybody else on a TV. Check it out. Three rounds into the new AFSA Premiership season and there's already heat on one or two outfits. Unfortunately for both Magsburg United and Kaiser Chiefs, they fall into that category, each yet to win in the league to date. However, Friday night lights return to the Sleepy Hollow on Friday. These are the nights that turned the Heriguala Stadium into a venue every fan wanted to be in and no team wanted to visit last season. The team of choice seemed to turn into a different beast whenever they hosted Friday kickoffs last campaign. Can they get back to those levels of performance and return to winning ways? Which, when we include their M10-8 defeat as well, they haven't been able to do at all so far this season. There's naturally been plenty more scrutiny placed on United this campaign from both fans and opposition alike. Such was the standard of performance last season that many expected them to get on the horse immediately and find their groove. It hasn't quite happened. The squad may be a year older, the coach may be a season wiser, but both remain wet behind the ears at this level. In all the good ways, of course, and football remains unforgiving. The minute a side stops performing at expected levels, the more the pressure rises. And on the other side of the pitch in Peter Maritzburg will be a team that knows the demands of their fans very well, albeit yet to meet them at this campaign. A 3-0 cup win over Free State Stars is all that Chiefs can show for their endeavor so far this young season. After an encouraging draw against the champions, a hammering at the hands of high-flying Vitz and another stalemate at Barroca, Coach Solinas has been very vocal about how demanding his early season schedule has been. Whether one agrees with him or not, Amakosi have to, at some stage, start winning football matches with regularity. Otherwise, they will fall further behind the pace setters in the division. They are already seven points behind the leaders. Meanwhile, over in Bologwane, Zim Binda by as two of the region's three get down to business on Derby Day Saturday. Bologwane City have to forget that which hasn't gone according to plan to date and try to shoot down Baroka FC, who have made a more than satisfactory start under the helm of Wetsin Miranda. Three matches played, one win, a draw and a defeat so far on the scorecard for Bakhaka. That sole victory coming at home against Cape Town City, while Amazulu plucked them to the tune of a goal to nil. And what they did show in their draw to Chiefs is that when allowed to, they can cause any side many headaches. The freedom with which they are playing is evident. 
Wise and Shine will be trying to limit that. It is not the type of encounter a team wants to go into while sitting at the bottom of the standings without a point yet after two matches. Those two ties ending in defeat at the hands of another local foe in Black Leopards and Champions Mamanudi Sundowns. The tricky part also being that in either game, City didn't quite look like winning. When coach Steve Gombella went back home to take charge at Bloemfontein Celtic, one wonders how he thought his side would fare in the early season proceedings. We have an idea how he hoped they would start and how he wished they didn't start. Did he though see them winning 2-2, two two, scoring four goals and keeping two clean sheets? That's a question only he can answer by once again coming up with a plan that will keep Siwelele singing and unbeaten so far. They play host to Orlando Pirates this weekend, and if early season form is anything to go by, Celtic are the favourites. Pirates will not make it easy, however. The Ghost has to date shown glimpses of what they can do on the pitch. Glimpses, however, aren't enough when trying to establish a rhythm and continuity in this league. And pre-season hopes that were synonymous with Pirates might still be there, but they are at the moment clouded in question marks as well. After a start that has seen them win one, lose one and draw the other. Nothing wrong with such numbers so early this season. It's the wins column, however, that makes teams contenders for the title. And while on paper the Buccaneers certainly are up there, the green grass determines who deserves the tag of title contenders. And Pirates, by winning football matches, have to start living up to their billing. It's an amazing start to the Absa Premiership season. It's still going to get more amazing in every single way as well. Well, if you're joining us, you're right here on Thursday Night Live with Maro and you all the champions. Uh, you're a bit late, but uh, just here <laughs> in time uh, to be with us for the big revelation. Baraka FC coach, Wetson Yeranda. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. You miss playing football? So much. Why? It's in my blood. Uh, I was born playing football. As, as young as eight years old, started playing football. Sure. And um, I started professional play, uh, football when I was uh, about 17, 18. Wow. So up to now, I'm just in football. Now, if, if you look back at your playing days and you look at the football that's being played now, it might be unfair to ask, but I have to ask. Is it better? Is it worse? Is it in between? Or should yeah. we talk about it next year? <laughs> I think uh, today's football is well organized. Mm -hmm. There is um, a good organization. Uh, but uh, I think uh, in terms of uh, the players, we had so much passion for the game. Whereas uh, today's players, it is commercial. Uh, this time, uh, the players, they need money. It is their living. But for us, uh, if, if you play a game, sometimes we just go home. All you have won is uh, the, the, the name that you have done something on the pitch. Now, there's, there's, there's usually a big difference, though, and maybe a big struggle when you compare club football coaching and national team football. Mm -hmm. So Mozambique, Zambia, there's a level of success with you. And then there's a big opportunity for you to come to PSL, yeah. where you remember, with, hey, I was a superstar at Kaiser Chiefs. Chiefs are there. How difficult a decision was that for you to make? Uh, not an easy de uh, decision. Um, first of all, uh, when I was uh, in Mozambique, everything was going my way. Mm. And um, I won the league for the first time for that club. And uh, it has never, the club has never won the league in 93 years. Wow. And uh, ever since the, the club mm. was, uh, was founded. So uh, it was a big, big success for, for, the, for the whole town and for the whole province. Uh, the party went on. I think for one week, uh, every day everyone was <laughs> drinking. You cannot even ask why somebody's drunk because, <laughs> because the answer is, is there. Um, I, I, I got a, a national call up. Yeah. Uh, national duty was calling. I said, they said they needed my, my services to go and build, rebuild. You know this guy. Call. You know this guy that's doing this on the boat. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> They needed somebody to go and uh, rebuild the Chipolo Polo. Well, it's, a, it's a frustration. You wanted to show them how to do this yeah. thing. Yeah. But you know, when you're wearing, wearing 80,000 Rand expensive shoes, it's difficult to do that and control <laughs> the ball. I mean, it's a problem. I listen no, to it, this guy. It, 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 it's okay. But uh, the only thing that happened there was when I was backtracking, uh, jogging the ball, uh, juggling the ball, the, 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 the cooler was 
just uh, behind me. Ah. So I had to hit uh, my foot on the, on the cooler and somersault. I know those coolers. Those coolers are dangerous. You know the ones that come to you and they attack you. There's, they're a big problem. Those coolers are a problem. They need to be sorted out. They, you just, yeah. they just leave and they come to you. Yeah. I was looking at Baraka. First game, Amazon. Mm -hmm. Tough game, loss. Yeah. Were you starting to see patterns of what you wanted from this team? Because there's a big word, man, that they always use with coaches, philosophy. It depends which pronunciation you like, but we'll say philosophy. Mm. The Wetson Yerenda philosophy is it starting to be seen now in how Baraka play. Yeah, um, I think uh, in the first game, I saw a lot of positives. Uh, uh, therefore, I was not uh, worried, uh, mm. even after uh, getting that loss, because I think we were all over um, Amazulu. Mm. It was unfortunate that uh, we, came, uh, we came out without even uh, one point. Uh, we we got focused uh, after that, and uh, we we did our our homework. We came back to to to, to Peter Mukawa against uh, Cape Town City, mm. and I must say and I must appreciate uh, Ben McAfee's uh, uh, work. Yeah, he has built a very strong team. Uh, we had a tough time beating that team. It was not easy. Mm. We had to score through set pieces, but uh, on the run of play we missed uh, a few chances. Uh, it was good for us to. Uh, grab the first three points in the second uh, second week because we had the big one coming uh, which was on uh, uh, Tuesday against the uh, uh, Chiefs. But how did it feel though? Because I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have asked. Hey, Nicole, <laughs> I asked him. This is your team. You know, you, you, I know Moeng, we'll, we'll talk about even the man of the match because one of your favorite players, uh, Moeng, has done it twice already. Yep. But just... I mean, here you are, you're always seen as a superstar of Kaiser Chiefs, yeah. but you are now facing them, yeah. and you are the opposition coach, having to see the demise, potentially, of this team. How does that feel? Yeah, um, firstly, I think, uh, when uh, people hear that uh, I'm, I'm leaving Chipolo Polo, yeah. and the hint was, was there that uh, I, I was heading down south, all the questions on my phone were, you're going back to your team. We know you're going back to Kaiser Chiefs. So I said, where did you get that from? Mm -hmm. um, it was so obvious for everyone, everyone, almost everyone, that I would be coming back to Kaiser Chiefs. Really? And wow. um, because I think uh, it was coincidence. Yeah. When I was uh, leaving uh, uh, Chipolo Polo, mm -hmm. Kaiser Chiefs did not have the coach. That is the time when uh, Steve was, uh, was uh, laid off. So obviously everyone would think it is automatic. But uh, when it came out that I, I was going to Baroka, mm. of, of all the teams, people were thinking, why? That was the question. And I've, I've answered this question, I think, a thousand times ever since I came. Yeah. Uh, why Baroka not, uh, not Chiefs? Why Baroka not uh, big, bigger, bigger teams than that? So I thought, uh, I think there comes a time in uh, a man's life when you make a decision. Uh, I'm so passionate at, about uh, facing challenges. Yeah, I like, I like big challenges. I don't like getting into the team which is already done, already baked. I love getting into something that I will be seen to be doing something and at the end of the day, the legacy will be, will be remaining in that club. But the Chiefs ever approach you though? Why, why are you talking about yeah. Did they approach you? Not yet. They, they never did. approach they, you? They never. Not uh, yet. Uh, Okay. I, well, I was going to say something. It might not be good for television. <laughs> so I'm not going to say it. Um, Mueng, I talked about your favorite player. Talent. Yo. Chawabiwa. Yo. I mean, he has everything. And you could tell even in that Chiefs game when he, when he went onto one of the advertising boards, he was like, yeah. I need to catch my breath and give myself that time to breathe. That's how committed he was. I remember when Talon came in to Baroka and he was the signing that everyone was wondering about. And the first game he had, he was absolutely fantastic. He didn't seem like a player who didn't know his teammates, who didn't know anything about Baroka and so forth. I mean, but um, he certainly is a player who, when he's on the field of play, you're going to get the best out of him. And we saw that against Kai as a Chiefs. He deserved that man of the match accolade. But then again, he was working so well with uh, Matume Khoitane and Mpokhasane as well. So he's also a team player who manages to make sure that I communicate with the entire team and not be a man on my own. 
which he could be if he wanted to. He's so talented. That's oh. why he has that name, right? But I, then, I mean, it's, it's, it's madness. And I mean, I, I suppose Moeng and, and, and Wenson will attest to this. Having to deal with the player that is just naturally gifted like yeah. that. What is it from a coaching perspective do you bring into it? Because you've also got to try and contain the head because it can get a bit big. But you've also got to try and not, you know, clip his wings to yeah. eliminate that natural talent that he possesses. Yeah, I think um, a talent is a big bomb yeah. uh, in football. He's, mm. he's, 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 he's a massive player. And uh, I remember very well. He, he killed me when I, I brought Polo Polo in the Kosafa, mm. the last Kosafa I was with Polo Polo. Uh, Zimbabwe in the final, yeah. he came in as a sub. Yes. His second touch, he scored when we were 1-1. Jeez. So when I heard uh, that uh, we have a player from Zimbabwe here at Baroka, I said, who is he? They said, talent. I said, thank God. <laughs> I, I, have, I, have, I have a special player. At least... In the team, when you have a special player like yeah. him, uh, as a coach, you feel comfortable. Yeah. Uh, there isn't much to tell a, a talent to, to do, uh, except uh, just keeping him within the framework of the, the team and the structures of the team and uh, the way we want to play. Yeah. But otherwise, you do not need to tie him because otherwise you, you will lose him. So what we've done with uh, talent is to give him the freedom. And we are pushing him to do it more because that is what defenders don't want. Mm. Mm. A striker who comes for, on them and going forward behind them, they don't want that. He's everywhere. Yeah, and, and he can go to the other side, he will do the same. Yeah. He comes this side, he will do the same. Yeah. Uh, only, only two days ago in training, uh, I think a day before yesterday, I was asking him, which one is your strong leg? Because I do not know. <laughs> yeah, because he can carry the ball with the left foot yeah. at high pace. He can change within the, the same yeah. time again and change with the right the, the, the right leg. So mm. you cannot know which leg he's going to shoot. So he's a very dangerous player. Hey, I guess the left and right leg will give him a nickname, Umlenzan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so quickly confirm what's going to be happening in the absent premiership on the weekend. On Friday, it's Kaiser Chiefs again on the road. Marisburg United are going to be hosting them. Brooklyn City, that's a big derby. They take on Brock FC. Golden Arrows are going to be away to Cape Town City. And Bidvers, Vitz unbeaten. They play against Supersports United. And Black Leopards take on Chippa United away. Uh, Bloemfontein Celtic, yet another unbeaten team, play against the Land of Pirates, who need uh, to come back from what happened midweek. Amazulu are going to be at home to Free State Stars. We're going to be back with Wetson Uranda and more after this.